Hello guys, what's up? So, um, for some time now, I figured that I've seen that the most uh, questions being asked most time when most persons send me email is, how do I convert my Ethereum Binance peg, my Binance Ethereum peg? You know, um, you know, I've explained this over and over before now, and if you if you don't understand by now, that means you've not been watching other of my previous videos. I have a lot of educational materials I've sent in there that are very important. Now, when you send your coin, let's say you send an easy arrow Ethereum, you know, we have what we call network on uh, different coins. You know, we have uh, Ethereum network, we have um, a Binance Smart Chain network, and then we have a Tron network, and we have so many other networks, all right? But the two major ones are Ethereum network and uh, Binance Smart Chain network, all right? So let me say, for instance, now you sent your coin, let's say you sent coin from Binance, you sent Ethereum from Binance to uh your trust wallet on um binance smart chain network now the coin wouldn't reflect and if it does reflect it will reflect on as binance peg and when it reflects dust the only way you can reconvert it back is i don't know whatever i don't know if there's there's i think you can use the desk option within the trust wallet to reconvert it to to uh, whatever coin let's say bnb or binance smart chain that you want to reconvert it to but the best way that you can reconvert that without having any issues is by sending the coin back to Binance and then resending it on the network you want to resend. So that's what typically what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you how to send, let's say you've retrieved it as Binance spec, how to send it to Binance through the correct address because if you send it to the wrong address, it will not reflect. How to send it through the, wrong, to the, through the right address and then before you can be able to transact it on every other uh, form you want to transact it, it will still um that's to make it to be flat as a main ethereum all right so let's just dive right into the video without making much noise so now this is a a content that um that is much more confusing you know most of most of you have your coins as binance peg let's say let's say your ethereum or whatever coin that you may have you may have it as a peg and not as a binance peg and you don't know how to convert it to ecro address and and that can really uh, prove to be a very big problem most times if you don't know what you're doing because at most cases you can lose your coin your entire coin trying to figure out your way around that all right all right without wasting much time uh, i believe i've done this transaction already so i just have to record the video i just have to record the video to show you how i how it was done already this coin was ex existing in uh, binance spec look at this coin here it existed in binance spec all right so when your coin is existing in uh, existing in Binance spec before you can have it withdrawn or before you can transfer it to Ethereum, uh, I mean to to Binance or to any address, because this wallet is on uh, Binance Smart Chain network, you have to uh, reconvert this wallet. You have to send some amount of BNB into the wallet. Let's say uh, I sent about two two dollars worth of BNB. Meanwhile, the transaction that was needed to transfer whatever amount that I needed to transfer, that, that amount of was about 0 0.08 BNB, which means the other, it was remaining about 0 1.94 uh, plus uh, what of, BM, of BNB, a smart chain. So now, now before sending this to Binance now, what I have to do before sending this to Trump, I have to go to my Binance account. Uh, where's my Binance account? Go to Binance account already, sorry. I'm on a transaction right there. Now go to Binance account. Now let me show you if I click on if I click on receive here. Let's say if I click on deposit deposit. Now when you click on deposit, click on Ethereum. Make sure you click on the right coin you want to send to. All right, here here we have uh, ERC20 BEP2. Um, uh bep 20 bsc now this is the one you are going for now you have to click on this bep 20 and then it will reload and then you copy this address that's what you'll be sending to that's what the coin will be sent to all right so now let, let's look at this transaction so i copy that and then come here 
by now I've gotten like at least one or or zero point five uh, um, uh, Binance Smart Chain. All right. So click here and then click on send and then paste the address. Once you paste it, enter the amount, enter max, enter the amount or whatever amount you want to send it to, and then proceed with the transaction. And once you hit send, the transaction will automatically reflect here, which it did here right here. And you can see it, it everything totally reflected and the transaction was successful. So it's just as simple as that. You can see the coin right here and I've transferred it to my P2P wallet because I need to do some other transaction with it. So uh, you can see it here in my, okay, that's, let's go to P2P. You can see it here in my P2P wallet. I've trans just transferred it to P2P wallet. So that's because I want to do some other transaction with it. So that's just how to, you know, um, transfer, con convert your Binance peg to normal Ethereum. So from here now, if, let me go back to that uh, spot wallet. So from here now, if I want to send this coin, all right, if I want to send this Ethereum, all right, to any address, let me paste this, paste this address for instance. Okay. This is the same Binance address. Let me just paste it. All right. Now, if I'm from here now, you cannot send it to any address on either EROC to a network or BEP20 or BEP2, all right? Normally, this BEP2 is no, it's not much in use, but the most frequently used address here is EROC and uh, BEP20. Uh, that's ERC20 and BEP20, which uh, if you are sending your, your trust wallet that is on uh, BSC, then it, you have to choose BEP20. Then if you are sending to, let's say, your wallet is on a Ethereum network, you have to choose ERC20, all right? The reason why most person chooses this BEP20 is just to boycott uh, too much transaction fee, all right? But this ERC normally can takes uh, much transaction fee, but that, that means if you, if you are sending coins, you have to send in a, very, in a good volume though. So um, this is just as simple as ABC. This is just how to just do this. All right. So uh, if you have any questions or anything to say, please uh, ask it within the comment section. I'm always ready to reply you guys. Uh, maybe some of you. Some of us that are already experienced into this uh, can help us in replying do so but be sure that uh, you are not playing scam be sure that you're not scamming one another all right i have a video coming up soon that a, a person tried to play a little bit of scamming to me and then uh, i was able to checkmate the person so be careful whatever transaction you do you're doing out there just be careful see you in my next video